new chapter. This is another strange frame. We've got two of those now. Don't know what they're for, but we've got two of them. Can I put the light on? Well, there was the crutch downstairs. That was the other thing that we could interact with. So I'm guessing that that's the next chapter. This right here. But I'm gonna go and put the videotape in the video layer. We got another piece of the comic. Negligence. Dancing, the dancing, the dancing. Okay, that's it was a grocery store. Well, outside a grocery store. Now they're dancing again. That's probably inside a grocery store. More dancing. Uh, oh, that's downstairs. There's the TV down in the basement. And the gramophone, or whatever it's called. I think it's back to the start. Put that away. I don't think we need the walkie talkie anymore. I feel like that would have been a last. I'm gonna say the same with the compass. I'm just gonna leave those in here. If we do need them, I'm sure that they'll appear in the storeroom. But I want to be able to carry a. I think if we need, if we carried a candle. Like I'm not sure if I'm gonna need this crowbar either, actually. But. At least the house is kind of back to normal. I forgot that, like, this was like this. Like, here? <laughs> forgot about the cat clock. I 
Alright, I'm sure we'll find a candle along the way somewhere. We have the space to pick it up. So, I guess let's start this next chapter. Rakan's chapter, The All-Seeing Eyes. Was there a wheelchair in here before? I'm gonna say no. Very bright. <coughs> oh, so like we're in the same room, but it's very different. Furniture? Oh, we don't have any key items of that either. I guess it was, yeah. The fact that I didn't go looking. Ooh. I was gonna say the fact that I didn't go looking for a... Uh... Oh, what is that? There's a guy, he's topless. Maybe more than topless? Oh, he's gone. What is he looking at? The newspaper. I can't interact with it. Lock, nothing indicates which key unlocks it. So chances are is that I might not need to. What the hell is wrong with this radio? Okay, so that's Rakan. What? What the fuck is this? It better not be what I think it is! Bastards. What is this?! Who the fuck are you?! So he found a bug? In his radio? You can get me that easily, huh? Nice try, you fucks! What the fuck do you want, huh? I'm right here! Those little fucks. You think you can find one of me? Alright. I don't think 
I was going anyway. <laughs> Turning around proved I was correct. Alright, he went back off this way. Into the garage, I guess. Oh, this looks pretty dark as well. Alright, not into the garage, I guess. All there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't you fucking move, I swear to God! Stop right there! Okay, that was quite the memory, or memory, I don't know, vision, I don't know what, what we'd call it. It does seem that he's like a little bit paranoid, maybe? Alright, there's no wheelchair there now. Um, all right, let's go have a look in the garage. scare myself by walking over some cans on the floor. I was saying I can't use this here because I've got the crowbar in my hand still. Maybe I don't need the crowbar anymore. Maybe I only need the crowbar for that window. I kind of feel like a little bit safer holding it. Not that I could do anything with it. It keeps on telling me that I can't do anything with it. <laughs> anything through here nothing extra oh we can have a look in this room because we should see that progress see it here. Does this mean that this one's going to be something bloody as well because there was blood on that one? I'm going to get like a body part of sorts because there's nothing on this one and we got a nice mirror. Um, I guess upstairs and the other part then is our next port of call. See if anything's different there. Oh, then we've got the basement as well, actually. Um, yeah, let's go upstairs again. I 
since this is where we ended up. Well, actually, downstairs is just there as well. But. I didn't realize. We're moving the crowbar around. I didn't realize the rope is here. I didn't realize that when we were in here before. to hear something. Maybe it's in that, um, this room. The door is locked. The eye stuck onto it seems to be alive. Okay. So I'm guessing we want to get into that room. Let's have a look at this book because we've got a couple of pages of it now. We got oh, I was gonna say we got the whole thing, but no, it looks like we're just missing one more page. So we'll read it after we've got that last page, if we find that last page. There should be a light switch. Oh, that's the bedroom. This is where it would have been good to have a candle. But there is like a noise. I can definitely hear that room though. I love when the lights get turned off. Alright, let's go down into the basement. I also know that I've got candles down in the basement, so. There is also all these picture frames. Don't do that. What's that? Oh, it's a lamp. Um, a candle holder.
Oh cool, so like the holes and stuff that we made in the wall all stick as well. Here we go. We've got some stuff in here now. Can I store this item? What if I was to just drop this? Can I take this into that, um, I think it was this way. The crowbar is now in the storage room, okay. Let me drop that. Because there's that bit, oh, I guess there's already a... Probably not a good time to explore that way. Okay. So that's still not a good. But I can just carry this around with me. Yeah, if I feel the need to. Let's put that back in the storeroom. Okay, we can see the crowbar in there. Ooh. in here. It's just a box. It's just a box. Alright, we're in the light. Don't panic. Oh, there's like so many candles around. I don't think we needed that. God damn it, I just turned that on. So that I'm not standing in the dark. My hand is gone tingly. The stool is now stored in the storage room. Okay. So the stool is something for me to, to carry around. Maybe I should... Ow! 
playing this game again. I'm wondering why you'd have tires in that in here and not have them in your garage. That to me seems a little unusual. Oh, right, just not gonna worry about the candle. I wonder if there's a couple of cups that we can pick up that have like letters on them. Like that one doesn't. Oh, well, this one does. It has the same letter. Maybe it's not significant. That cup is empty. How sad. Do we need to put something in it? So many different teas. Can we take a can and then can we use it to put in that cup? Not that you'd put one of those, yeah, most people wouldn't put a can like that in the cup, but So that's like unbleached bread flour. Every time! This radio? Go away! 
All right, let's go back up here. This is the only place we've seen something. Is that the last page for the comic? Ooh. Find all the neighbor's pages. Okay. Let's go have a look at that book. Hold on, what's that? Oh! I'm not standing in the dark, I have a candle. Oh, I can open that door now. All right, the book can wait. Let's. I've got a wheelchair again. All right, well, wheelchair time. The screen this bright, I can see how how Dr. dirty my monitor is. Doctor Smith? <laughs> yes, sorry, I'm Side with dirt. You. I have the information you requested concerning the patient that came in tonight. He claims that someone broke into his house and tried to strangle him, and that he used his firearm in an attempt to defend himself. What's weird is that there's nothing in the police report that indicates any break in. There are some minor bruises on his body, but they all seem self inflicted. The police also interrogated the neighbor who called the police. She claims to have seen him tossing books from his bookshelves frantically, seemingly searching for something. And what was he searching for? It's hard to tell. He refuses to answer most of our questions, claiming we already know the answers. He believes we're partly responsible for what happened. It's not really surprising. I took a look at his medical background, and he's had really bad cases of... Scopophobia. Exactly. Hmm. Thanks, Tim. I'll go and see him right away. Of course. He'll be in the transit wing, room 323, until further notice. He seems agitated, so be careful. Thanks, Tim. Duly noted. Ah. <laughs> All right, so we're in a hospital. Or possibly a psych ward? I don't know. I don't have any of my items. So, they said that we're in three twenty three. 306. There's something I could interact with. What was it? There. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a chair! Yeah! I have a chair. Okay, we probably don't need a chair. Call to employees. Code white in room 323. Code white in room 323. Okay. 
That was the... That was the room that... The guy's been... Well, the guy that they were talking about has been put in. We didn't go very far. Meeting room 3F. Staircase, psychiatric ward, meeting room 3F. Well, do we think that he's in a psych ward, given what they were saying? 308, nurse station elevator. found a key tag for room 323. Found another chair that we can pick up. Call to security. Code white. Emergency in room 323. Code white. Emergency in room 323. Rooms 309 to 325 is that way. So I'm guessing that we're going that way. And it, yeah, we can't go into the psychiatric ward. So he's not in the psychiatric ward. Room 320. Don't you dare touch me, you fuck! You're not Seize him! Give him the sedative! No! Get off It's a key. You could probably break the wall with the right tool. So now I need my sledgehammer. <laughs> Could we not just go? No. <laughs> of course not. Okay. So we need a sledgehammer or something that we can break a wall with. I guess we'll just carry on exploring. We didn't. Oh, is this where that room that I walked through just before? It's crying in the bathroom? Why is there no lights in this place? Seems to be working. Weight limit exceeded. Well, that says a lot. Like, elevators can hold a lot.
Does that mean I don't have to pick up the chair? Yeah. Now I have a trash bin. Why could I can pick up the most random things? Alright. Select an item. There is no items. locked as well. But is there nothing I can do in these rooms? Okay. Oh, this is where I found the, the first chair. picking up anything. This is another key somewhere. That one doesn't light up like the other room so I'm gonna say that there's not really anything I can do. the trash bin. Is there a way can I tip it out if there's anything in it? Alright, we are hearing cries from in here. I feel like it is in the spot. <laughs> oh. Oh, we have a crowbar. this one's to open um break the hole break the hole break the wall to get that key was this way and then down to the left. Yeah. Alright, 
let's go break the wall. I guess. You cannot store this item. Okay, so now we've got the key for the meeting room. getting it turned my camera around I didn't all right well we're gonna make our way to the meeting room Oh, you're going there. Oh, my God. I'm running to the meeting room. the door handle off well okay I was gonna say maybe that's why I can like pick up the chairs in the bins maybe I can throw them at him Oh, no. Fuck. That's a lot of chairs and stuff that I can pick up. Oh! Jesus. Have a torch. Yay. No, there's footprints. Oh, there's uh, another key. Found the key tagged transit wing. And I got a torch. That seems like a score. So is there another door that I can use to get out? Oh, it's all around a window. Is that what all the TV show? Yeah. Okay. Is that a clue to say that I'm looking for a window? Because I don't think that there's any windows in here. Can we 
we interact with this? Move this table. What about from the other side? No. a ceiling vent that I can missing. I feel like the only way I'm going to be able to get out is this way, but maybe I needed to move the table the other way. What's the... Okay, maybe... Let's reload and see. Also, I'm only 56% through. Ooh. <laughs> okay. This is not a bad place to be. Oh, I didn't notice that before. All the TVs are off. I forgot about that. Okay, now the TVs are on. That's what turns the TVs on. <laughs> Alright, so we've got the flashlight and the key. 
key. And then I'm gonna see if I can move the table that way. And I can. It's a pull door. Which is why it was still jammed. Okay, we got past that part. Whoop whoop. Saving, okay, good to know. That door is jammed. What is this key? This was the transit lounge, right? Transit wing, yeah. Transit lounge is what it's called at where I work. <laughs> Gotta say, my um my workplace is not this scary. Can we get into the storage room? Okay. Did he rip off the door handle? No, the door handle's there. Alright, so we need to see if there is a sign, maybe. What are these ones? Now that I've got the light. Now we've got the light, I can go back- oh. I was gonna say, into that one... Why is there so many 302s? Where did we start? That's where I wanted to go. Because now I've got a torch. That's where we... So I think... This room at the end is the one that we were... It's the one that was really dark. I think there might have been a reason to come back to the room. But does let's not turn that off. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Um transit wing. So there was the signposts down here which said which way everything was. And they'd said earlier that he was in the transit wing in that room um three two three Ooh. Transit wing. I 
there's that window that we were seeing. Oh. His sanity is decreasing fast. I was gonna say, can I save the game? I wanna, I'm gonna manually save, we'll save. Because I haven't done that for a while. No, I have, I don't have my candle. the thing on the floor maybe we'll follow that Hi, eyes. So that made one of the eyes close or disappear. Or another one? I don't think it would be that far away. also seems to be one of these leading up to each one so maybe there is another Sanity isn't liking this dog.
We'll see if the last auto save was more recent than actually can we do it this way? So this is one that I just saved, and then the most recent auto save is slightly behind that. So let's go with this one. <laughs> At least now we know where the eyes are to poke. Because I imagine that's what we're doing. Just be like, see an eye and you just go poke. Okay, so let's go. Downstairs. This is already messing with my sanity so much. Now let's get this further away one um, first. I can remember which, well, okay, I can't. I have to go this way first. So, poking this one here. They are creepy. Opens up. This way? No. How did I get there? Oh, now I can. So I had to interact with that door first. I'm gonna say, am I getting chased now? I can get through the door. I just run. Because it's taken me considerably less time. Why'd you say no? We poked. And we poked the other one. Is there another 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 one? Is it a sequence that I have to poke them in? Did I not poke the eye? So strange. I thought I did. Alright, let's see if we can... Get through it this time. In the hospital? Okay. 
Do I have a flashlight again? Oh, that's not a room anymore. Oh. Should have known something like that was gonna happen. Am I dying? Yes. Yes, I am dying. Okay, so don't try and walk through the people. Got it. Alright, well, red tends to indicate the way that I'm supposed to go. Is this something? Oh, I can't pick it up anyway. It's locked. Perfect. Do I need to like sneak past them? Can I sneak past them? I can't carry a chair through them. Protection. The spines are very purple. Crouching seems to be working. Found a key of a symbol of stairs on it. Doesn't seem to be working. Okay. <laughs> Feeling overdressed at this point. Everyone's just chilling in their undies. Okay. Well, I'm guessing that key opens this room that was read down these ways. The exit. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna run to the room with the red thingy and oh god. Do that. Oh god. I mean, oh good. Another autosave.
I miss my flashlights. Alright, basement stairs, atrium, cafeteria, outpatient clinic, and emergency entrance. Basement stairs are locked. I can move these beds around as well as the bins. There seems to be a malfunction with the weight sensor. We will investigate the problem as soon as possible, but for now on, for, but for now on, employees will have to use the basement stairs to get to the basement. There is a spare key in the admission office if needed. Okay. So we need to go to the admission office and get the spare key. Exploring is less fun when you're in the dark. And like a hundred percent more creepy. There's the admission office. I saw the sign. Shadows. Basement stairs. Now I have to find my way back again. <gasps> oh! Fuck! No! Oh my god. Thankfully, there seems to. Oh no, I'm blocked! Where do I need to go? Ah! That runs out of dead end. Oh! Bugger! I was gonna say. Thankfully, there's only one way that I can go. One way that I could go was into death. <laughs> he appears just like so quickly. So I'm guessing because he's on he's got crutches, like 
it's some leg injury. And then I could explore that orthopedic room. Not that there was anything in there, but... So is he going to appear and now again? Yes? Alright. So, I need to not run the same way. I don't know which way I'm supposed to- there's- there is- Oh. No, there? No? I don't know which way to go- oh! Hey. Alright. That worked. Run away! Oh, I got tired. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> He's on crutches, like, honestly. If I can't outrun someone on crutches, then I need to reconsider my life choices. Oh dear. Can I hide? Nope. <laughs> so I need to know the correct way to go. <laughs> So that I don't run into dead ends. Or I run into dead ends where I'm able to loop them. I was never good at looping like killers in Dead by Daylight and stuff like that, so. Can I just shut this door? He's still there. Oh, he's trapped on the door. <laughs> Let me see if he comes back for me. Okay, now I may have stuck myself. <laughs> Oh my god, why? Why is my person so unfit? You're running for your life. Just run. Alright, they're doing better this time. I guess I'm gonna run to the stairs. Oh, I'm not getting tired this time.
Perfect. I can't see anything. Oh, there we go. Oh, flashlight! My saviour! Is there anything else to pick up? Oh, I love the flashlight. Means I can see. Machine cycle is done. There's probably some way to override it somewhere. So I'm guessing it's in another room completely. So let's see if we could go a different way. Like there might be some kind of maintenance room. Or like just turn the power off maybe? Is this door an open door as well? No, okay. It's a locker room. And a key tagged control room. Oh, the locker fell down. And that door is now open. The doors won't open, the magnetic card reader might override the over the, the override the lock. 
essentially. It said words. I didn't I didn't get a chance to read them all. Okay, I'm back here. Alright, let's go back. So I haven't found a room that needs unlocking yet. This looks like I should be able to play with it. It's just sticking out. Okay, this is where I came out, so I haven't been down this way. Control room. Okay, so I picked the complete wrong way to go. Choose that. And open these doors. Seems like a dangerous place to be with the the water. It seems to have powered up something nearby. Well, it will be that washing machine, hopefully. machine that was making a racket so there's obviously something in it whoa, whoa, whoa. minding our own business moving along ah oh, this is the door This was the one to the laundry. It's finished. There's one shoe out here, so I'm guessing maybe the other one is in here too. Nope, we've got an employee's magnetic card. What's their name? Kyle Schaefer. He's the janitor. He works full time. Alright. We'll take that. Also the the year. If I look at it again. It expires in June 1978. I would have thought that this was a lot less than like the setting wasn't that old. But then I wasn't around in the 1978 so I don't really know. Alright, uh, this way I think is going to be the easiest way. 
to get to that um, lift that's here. So if we use this, beep beep. Oh, maybe. Gives me the option to interact. Can I move them? Oh my god, have I got to move the bodies out of the... the lift? Oh! Can I leave? No! Go away! God damn it! So I need to get the bodies out of the lift. And if he turns up, I need to run away. <laughs> All right, I have the magnetic ID card. So let's head back to that elevator. I think I ran before you saw me. I'm hoping that I ran before you saw me. I was crouched down. I'm not trying to pick them up by the the nether regions, but it kind of seems to, you know, just be the the most prominent part. Let's let's go, chest. Um, <clears throat> and we're just gonna leave them there. Ooh. Oh, lovely. Can I turn my light on? Okay. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, so if we crawl, we should be fine. Can I save it? No. Okay. Perfect. I love when I can't save it. Uh... 
So many feet. Ah! Hands. Fuck you, Dwayne. Can I open this stuff? Close that door. Thank you for closing it for me. I didn't like that they were following me. We in this room? Like this part of the hospital again? This is the same layout as that first larger room. It might not be the same. Can't play with the wardrobes, the cupboards. I was gonna say, I like that this is exit. It's jammed. Does that mean that there's something on the other side of it? Maybe stopping me from opening it? Ah, oh, on this TV screen there's another door with all the exits around it. So maybe that's what I'm looking for. I guess that would make sense. So I paused to check something and I died because I didn't pause the game. I thought I was safe. <laughs> That's slow the last auto say. <laughs> Hopefully I don't get put too far back. All right, I guess this isn't too far back. All the free feats. Fuck you, Dwayne. It was one of those people that killed me. Okay, maybe I should turn my flashlight off. Maybe that will help.
Is that the exit sign? Oh, that was a person. <laughs> I'm surprised that worked. I physically had to move myself. Alright, well we know the door's there. I thought I was so smart. Hadn't in a room. Yes, we're back at the elevator again. Yes. That's not a door I can get into. Okay, we're running back. run oh I love that some of those rooms like all looped around and had two exits oh cool it's jammed Turn the light on. Why is the door jammed? Do I need to go back out of this door? It's jammed. Oh. I 
there's like nothing that I can interact with. Is there anything under the bed? There's a pillow. I think this is room 227. I'm hoping that was the room that I came into. I didn't look at what the, the number was, I just ran into the room. Did I get myself trapped? Am I, am I stuck? I can't see anything that I can interact with. Save. Seems like a good spot to save. Is that the one I just did? Yes. So I'm back at the house. I'm back with my own inventory. Alright. Am I following? candles but I guess I'm following this to a dead end can I turn the lights on is there light there's no light switches Oh wait, I need to actually walk. I thought it was a dead end. Let's see, let's see. I 
boy standing in the dark for too long. I don't have anything. Alright, it was a good job I saved it. Okay, well we know that I was dumb. I forgot how staircases work. And the layout. Hopefully we can make it up quicker this time. I did backtrack when it first started making the noise. So maybe if I just run forward, that will be better. Maybe. I was gonna say, I still don't think the autosave is the newest. that way. Alright, we're looking for pictures with the with the eye. Ah, oh, here's one. At least all the furniture's gone to make it easier. There's one in here. Yep. Ooh. Okay, is that the noise of it all 
being good. Yes, it is. Uh, all right, I guess we're going, can I save it? No. I guess this will be an auto save. Living for those save moments at the moment. again. <laughs> Alright, am I back on the same bed again? It's getting messier and messier. Have you guys noticed? Like, first it was just like this little black spot. Now it's a lot more and I don't have a torch again. Perfect. Oh, there's footsteps, I guess. Do we follow the footsteps? They no. Well, the footsteps ended pretty quickly. Oh, there's red. That's too dark. Can't can't see. Oh. Is that pointing which way I need to go? Oh, the psychiatric ward part is open now. This wasn't open earlier. We have um, one of those at our hospital near where I live and I do quite like walking across, across that. Alright, so this is a waiting room type situation. with a crutch. I don't know if it makes a difference but that was room five. There's no power for the elevator. 
Okay. I love the twisty tiny corridors. Okay, so that goes back to the beginning. So I guess there was another way towards the start of this little loop. There was another way that we could have went. This way. Observatory. Okay, so we've made it to the reception room. to interact with but okay room five is flashing <laughs> and that was the one that had that cutscene so I guess we'll go and look at room five I'm not sure I want to go look at room five but let's let's see There's an observatory key. Ah, oh, observatory. Observation room key. So that was this way. Was it? Was it that way? No, it was this way. That was the room here, right? Observatory. Yeah. You have assaulted multiple employees and threatened security guards with a knife. You sabotaged the electric panel, leaving the entire ward in the lockdown. Such behavior is leaving us questioning your mental stability and health. We are left with no choice but to isolate you from the patients and employees in the psychiatric ward. Treatments are a measure of... No! No treatments! You all are the reason why this... Okay. Well, I was excited. I got a flashlight. <laughs> I love flashlights, especially ones that don't run out of battery. And this one doesn't seem to run out of battery. Um, okay, so nothing's changed here. Was there anything? I didn't see anything else, but let's just check. But I couldn't interact with any of these lockers or the cupboard. No. Okay. Nope. Don't close me in. Oh dear. Alright, that wasn't there before. Okay, footprints. Two 
to the bathroom, which is now open. Alright, the end cubicle. Found the handle of the electric box. Lovely. Ugh. No, I don't like that. Can we wash it off? Let's just stand in the shower for a minute. Alright. So now we need to find where the electric box is. Okay, the store is open now, which it wasn't before. There's an open door at the end of the corridor. Oh, and the footprints. So I don't have a... I can't... Oh, there's my flashlight. Okay, so can I not pick up the flashlight? Is that not okay? Alright. I guess it's pointing it here for a reason. You should find something to light the passage with first. You mean, like, this flashlight? There we go. There's a spider webs. Oh. I'm not getting any notice for these drops. Alright, this time I am, because I can see it. Maybe I need to look more down. There we go, another drop. So much spider webs. Personally, I'd probably be like trying to like swipe at them to, to get rid of them before I just like, you know, power walk through them all. Oh, it's the peoples. Hello, peoples. How are you? Okay, it's a TV. I thought it was a chair. But it's not, it's a TV.
Okay, now there's multiple TVs. Two. Giant eyes blocking your path. Find something sharp to cut it. Where is he? Oh god, what happens if I run into a dead end? You go there. Okay. Found a sharp knife. Perfect. Oh god. So now do I just go and stab the knife the eye? Stab it! Ugh. Don't like that either, but okay. <clears throat> it's the door. That was the electric. <laughs> so do we need to go back into the high risk patients or are we just oh the elevator where's the elevator it's down here yes Because we restored the power. I don't... I... I pushed a button. I don't know what button. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, I need to itch my nose. Hopefully I don't die. Wait, can I save? No. Okay. It's the moon. Uh, we've got an open door here on our right. So, great, then, right? I'm here with good news. Based on your behavior and recovery in the past few months, you'll be ready to leave and go home. Sounds good, right? There are just a few technicalities that need to be taken care of, but this will just take a couple days. With everything that happened, I'm sure you'll be very happy to leave this place. Okay, so he's getting discharged. Oh. Wheelchair? No? Close? interact with the TV. It's like the first chair I haven't been able to do anything with. Oh. Wait, before I push it. Okay. Just in case I pushed it the wrong way. Alright, well, there's not enough space to squeeze through. What about now? Alright, I guess it's the right way to do it. So, push it all the way across. Take the flashlight! Hold it in your mouth! Grab the flashlight! We seriously leave the flashlight. You put it in our inventory? Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> Okay, that was a progress item. The door's jammed. There is a hole. Okay. We completed Rakan's chapter. We got a videotape called Chrism. Warning, the game could not save automatically. Save manually if needed. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> 